Good evening. Could you please introduce yourself? I'm Susan Davis. I'm the executive director of Improve International. And we're based in Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States. Okay. Could you tell us why you think monitoring is important to you? I think monitoring, and when I say monitoring, I mean post-implementation monitoring, is quite important because there are. It's important for implementers, implementing organizations, to know what they have done and whether they have achieved what they meant to achieve. It's important to look back over time so that we understand what works over time and what doesn't work over time. And it's important for donors also to see that information on a broader scale so that they know what they should be funding and what they shouldn't be funding. And then there's other audiences, of course. National governments should know what's going on in their uh, countries so that they can make better investments and they can coordinate uh, the activities that are happening in their country better. There are many reasons that monitoring is important. Okay. So what is Improve International doing in the field of monitoring Would you like to tell us about? Improve International is focused on encouraging, facilitating, uh, promoting, pushing, monitoring after the project for as many years as, as is feasible. And we're doing that so that organizations can learn from their own mistakes and their own successes. Uh, we're, we're not technically monitoring ourselves, but we are promoting sharing of that data. We're promoting learning from that data. One of the programs we're working with now is promoting inter-organizational learning. So monitoring qualitative and quantitative is a, an important way to learn. And that's how we're using uh, monitoring with improved Imagine. And how would you like to see uh, monitoring being used in the future? What's your dream of monitoring? Well, I think the, the ideal would be that national governments know what's going on with all of the water points and all of the toilets in their countries. Um, I believe there's a, there's a stepped way to get there. There are some governments who are farther along than others, and I think so there are ways that um, to get there that include joint monitoring with uh, many types of implementers, including uh, the big ones and the little ones, uh, as well as the national governments and the local governments. Um, so the ideal would be that national governments know what's going on, and then the way to get there, there are probably lots of different ways. Okay, thank you very much for this interview.